What you're about to see is gameplay of the closed beta of Pit People on the Xbox One, made by and played by me, Hey Robert, with no input of any kind by the Behemoth or Pit People. To sum up the short disclaimer, due to space, time, and the pizza I have in the oven, I leave you with these words famously stated by Jerry Holkins. You have been warned. I find myself wondering what the world must have been like before the bear crashed into our frail planet, transforming all we once knew into a colorful kaleidoscope of delicious chaos, and I love it. The world was more hospitable, no doubt, more orderly, more sensibly sickening, because it sounded boring, and I hate being bored. I can't imagine a world without the bear, or the storms, yes, the storms. Beautiful waves of emerald blood cry down from the heavens, promising death in lawless disarray, constantly upsetting the order. I get butterflies in my tummy just thinking about it. Yeah. Yes! Speaking of which... Let's see. Oh, it's Horatio, the humble blueberry farmer, loving father, and the most boring creature on the face of this planet. But what's this? Looks like you've got a spicy situation on your hands, hmm? Well, it's been nice knowing you, Horatio. Not really. But now it's time for you to die. Yes, how exciting. Not for you, of course. Hmm. Ha! Hello again, Amy. Amy? Amy, Amy, up here. I said Horatio died. Naughty boys who don't listen get punished. With nothing but a handful of blueberries and a stupid look on his face, Horatio set out to find some shelter, burdened with the realization that none of this would have happened had he listened. And to make matters worse, he's got weak arms, and he's not all that handsome. I don't see what all the fuss is about. But all of this will haunt him until I decide to end his misery. What fun. What's this? A beautiful lady. She looked hungry. Horatio shared his blueberries. Here, I know you got it. No, you shared your berries. Huh? How generous of you. How did you her win? name was Pipistrella, and though she looked more than capable, she requested Horatio's aid. You see, her castle was raided by grumpy warriors, and she doesn't like that very much. 
Go on, my little hero. Perhaps this could become a mutually beneficial relationship. We demoed that vast monster! No! Oh, the one with the mustache told me you guys are stupid and weak. I don't know why he'd say that. Hmm. Chaotic job, gentlemen. Go wreak havoc elsewhere. Oh, uh, sorry, Pip. Are you upset? With her castle in ruins and a very dead daddy, Pipistrella accompanies Captain Worthless. And what a woman. Her optimistic outlook and reckless bravery captivated Horatio. So much, in fact, that he immediately forgot about his son and eh? his home and... Eh, no, you got it. Yes, you did. How did you wish you were I see. Horatio gave Pipistrella the remainder of his blueberries, and they headed for the city. The perfect place to recuperate and make plans for Horatio's inevitable failure. Yes, the city, how it bustles with excitement. Keep your wallet in your front pocket. How do I drive quick? All of others, eh? Who got in the night, eh? Could they got good on eh?
there, Robert. Thanks again, guys, for watching today. I appreciate it. Do wreck that subscribe button, smash that like button for the double kill, and please leave a comment down below in case I need to improve or change something. I'm too dumb or I'm too lazy to figure out how to make annotations for, you know, our social network, but in the description below we have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, and Tumblr. So if you're going to follow one of them, you might as well follow all of them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!